Hello everyone. In this video, we'll see how to parameterize an action and how can we use the different sets of a data in an action. To understand this, let's take an example from this application. This is a simple HTML page. What this page is doing, just put some login and password here, then press enter. Then this page will have one edit box and the submit button. Whatever you enter in this edit box and then press submit button, the text gets displayed over here. Sample. So if you write anything else here, it will get displayed onto the next page. So we'll use this application for our example. Okay. So let's do the recording with this application. What we will do, we will record into a different, different parts or different actions. So let's rename our first action as a action login okay let's rename it as a login so let's record it and we will record only the login part in this action okay so let's put uh, the demo here and then password and then enter okay now we will create the another action in which we will search some text okay so in the recording mode you can also insert a new action so just Put the action insert call to a new action and name it as let's say search text then i'll add it at the end of the test okay so in this action we will search the test let's put some sample here then submit okay let's click the back button and let's search some another field as well submit okay now we will create one more action in which we will close our browser so create one more action insert call to a new action let's say its name is close browser close browser at the end of the test okay and we'll close the browser in this just stop the test so what we have we have three different actions in the first action we are doing a login in the second action we are searching some text and in the third action we have a closed browser if you go to the keyword view you will see the three different actions here in the sequence in which you entered the action the same sequence will be maintained at the time of the execution okay so first is login then search text and then the closed browser whereas in the export view this the action listed in the alphabetical order so when you have added multiple action in the data table there is a separate sheet for each actions will get added see one is global that is common for throughout the test and the next is login search text and then close browser a local action local data sheets for all the actions okay so what we want to do let's say we want to parameterize our test okay what we want to parameterize we are parameterizing this here we are searching for the multiple text now we want to search for the more than a single test okay so what we'll do we will add the data into our data table okay let's remove this line because this is the duplicate line, we'll use the data table for such kind of parameterization. Okay. So to do the parameterization, go to the keyword view, select the second action, search text and select the description field. Select this option here from parameter, select the data table and let's put the name as search. Okay. Now here we want to use the local data sheet. So we'll select this option, current action sheet. Then press OK. Now see here in the data table, one column gets added with the default value. Okay, so let's enter some more values here. Let's say demo, then test. Okay, let's say put QTP. So we have a four data here. Now if you go to the export view, see the hard coded value gets replaced with the data table. This is the name of the column and DT local sheet refers the local data sheet and in this case the local data sheet is search text okay so now let's execute this test run it it should execute for four iteration press ok the test is executing demo but what happened 
it only executed for the first row why let's analyze this because by default the settings for the action is run on only one iteration okay so there are two different settings for the iteration execution the one is from file and settings and here from the run option this data table iteration is for the global data sheet okay so whatever the iteration that you have mentioned in the global data sheet this settings will serve the purpose for the global data sheet but if you want for the action sheet or for the local data sheet the options are for go to the keyword view select the action whatever the action that you have parameterized right click on it and select action call properties from here you will select the option see run one iteration only is marked that's why the code is executed only for the first iteration select the second option run on all rows okay press okay and then okay now this will execute for all the iterations let's execute this login see sam see now it this time it execute for all the four rows if you see in the result file see in the results we have three actions here login search text close browser and within the search text we have four iterations okay so for action level you have to go to the action call properties okay so this is the local data sheet that we have used now let's say if I want to use the global data sheet in our login function. Here, we want to do the multiple logins and for each login, the code is executed for the four times. Okay, so let's put here, let's say, we'll rename it as a login. Okay, and left from here, it is password. Okay, let's say, put some data here, demo and then test okay it will run for two login okay let's do the parameterization for this step go to the keyword view select the login and select the demo here select here and for parameter we will select the login and global sheet okay for the password also do the same step parameter and select the password and again from the global sheet Okay, go to the expert view, see it is replaced by the data table login. Now here it is referring the global sheet, means this sheet. And in the search text, we have local sheet. It means the local sheet of this action. Okay, now if you execute this code, this code will execute eight times. Why? The first iteration for the global sheet and for first iteration, it will execute the four iterations. Okay, similarly for the second iteration, it will execute the four iterations. Okay, let's execute this. You will see the difference. For demo, it is entering all the four values. Now it is for test. See here, test. It is for all the four iterations. So this is how total eight iterations will execute it for this type of test. See here, for the main the global data sheet row 1 and row 2 and within the each iteration you have four iteration for the search text okay so this is how you can parameterize your action using the local data sheet or the global data sheet the data that you entered in the global data sheet can be accessed by all over the actions you can use the global data in any of the action but the data that you have mentioned in the local data sheet can be accessed within that action only you cannot use this data the search text data in the login or in the closed browser okay so that's all about the parameterization in the action thank you